me and I said yes because wherever TK is, no DJs move. Go. If you really care about me, me fighting alone, I don't have money to yeah. pay for the lawyers. My money is sitting there. You know the money that is hey. sitting there can actually even when I come back. It is often said that the unhappiest people in the world are those who bring smiles to others. South African music sensation Zahara was one such individual who managed to bring joy to many through her music, despite the challenges she faced throughout her career, which ultimately led to her untimely demise. In this episode, we aim to shed light on how Zahara's drama with DJ Sibu contributed to her tragic end. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Bulelua Mkutukana, also known as Zahara, catapulted to stardom with her hit song Loliwe, which garnered millions of views on the internet. <laughs> During this time, she was signed to TS Record, a label co-ran by TK Fiza and Sibu Liope. The label played a pivotal role in the release of her Loliwe album. However, around 2019, Zahara claimed that she had not received her rightful earnings from the album. Feeling exploited, she found it challenging to sustain her extravagant lifestyle and even came close to losing her Rudy Port home. Fortunately, her dedicated fans rallied to her aid by donating funds to save her house. Zahara went on to make a several public statements, including videos and interviews accusing DJ Sibu of withholding over 30 million rands owed to her for her Loliwe album. Me and I said yes because wherever TK is, no DJs move. Go. If you really care about me, me fighting alone, I don't have money to yeah. pay for the lawyers. My money is sitting there. You know the money that is hey. sitting there can actually even, when I come back, at our village. But you guys, you only entice about what you see on TV. Yes, yeah, it's the But you know what? Yeah. Today, they own Loliwe. No, I I mean. On the other side of the dispute, DJ Sibu vehemently denied owing Zahara any money. He emphasized their historical collaboration. However, he asserted that Zahara actually owed their label money when the books at Universal Music were examined. According to DJ Sibu, Zahara was receiving a 50% royalty rate while the record label was entitled to their other 50% a setup he considered fair. Amidst this ongoing conflict between the two artists, Zahara began to sink into depression. She resorted to excessive drinking as a means of coping with the challenges she encountered in her music career. She believed that certain individuals in the industry had taken advantage of her with DJ Sibu often in the spotlight as a perceived culprit. Alcohol became her escape whenever her career was escalated, compounded by her frustration over unpaid royalties from DJ Sibu. Unfortunately, it was this pattern of excessive drinking that ultimately led to her liver complications claiming her life. Before her tragic passing, Zahara's family disclosed that she had been admitted to the hospital fighting for her life. They reached out to her followers for financial assistance with her medical bills. When the news of her death emerged online, the internet community mourned her loss and pointed accusatory fingers at DJ Sibo, alleging that his actions had been a catalyst in her downward spiral. Many suggested that if DJ Sibu had paid her the royalties she deserved, Zahara may not have resorted to heavy drinking in an attempt to find solace and happiness. 
And as you're talking right now, if you head over to Twitter, you will find that the South Africans are already ganging up against DJ Sibo, accusing him of being the reason why Zahara is no more. You can see somebody saying DJ Sibo ruined Zahara's career, caused her deepest depression and screwed her over so many opportunities. I am sorry but I get why he is to blame. Another person defended DJ Sibu saying Zahara had a liver failure caused by alcohol abuse. That wasn't a secret. We loved her and we still love her. None of this has DJ Sibu's name on it. He is as heartbroken as the rest of us. I can't believe you guys are here boycotting him from mourning the passing of Zahara. Wow. Another person added saying, Life has been too hard on Zahara. Rest in eternal peace, mama. I hope you all find peace. I'm so sad, man. DJ Sibu, you started all this. Zahara has never been okay after what you did to her. And I really don't know what DJ Sibu will do next. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's be next time. Bye-bye.